Developments at this hour in the Cipriano trial. Both sides are giving closing arguments in that case against Mitchell Young. Seven Action News reporter Tara Edwards was there when Young told the court he would not take the witness stand. As the Cipriano murder trial wraps up, it was an emotional day for some family members as they had to look at graphic pictures once again. But it wasn't just emotional for them, but also for Mitchell Young. My decision is that I will exercise my rights to remain silent. In the end, Mitchell Young, accused of killing his friend's father, chose not to take the stand after prosecution wrapped up their case. This morning, jurors heard from a VP at DFCU Financial who spoke about several fraudulent attempts within hours of the brutal baseball bat beatings. Shortly after, Detective Scott Rosepa from the Farmington Hills PD took the stand. He described what he saw at the crime scene. There was a dog in a den that uh, was blocked off with a couch. Um, the dog was uh, behind there. Uh, he was whimpering, uh, limping around, obviously injured. Family members were wincing as they showed pictures of the injuries Bob Cipriano suffered. The Oakland County Deputy Medical Examiner told the jury the blows to the head with a baseball bat did not kill him right away. And why did I say that uh, he was alive also? Is because he was breathing and because he was unconscious due to the trauma. He was aspirating blood into the lungs. Lead detective in the case, Michael Flat, showed text messages sent by Tucker Cipriano linking Mitchell Young to Cipriano around the time of the murder, including a text message sent to a 14-year-old friend saying, quote, we've got enough spice to last us forever. The whole time, Young's ex-girlfriend sat in court wiping away tears. Young had sketched a rose for her while in court with a note attached. It reads, please don't cry, you'll make me cry. She believes Tucker is to blame and Young is innocent. That little girl is never going to have a father to walk her down the aisle. Sal might never recover and be the same. Rose is lucky she recovered and she's, able, she's as able as she is now. And Tucker deserves what he's getting. And coming up at 6 o'clock, his ex-girlfriend talks about where things took a turn for Young. And Young gets emotional, even tearful in court. At the Oakland County Courthouse, Tara Edwards, 7 Action News.